today is um, 26 of October 2023 and this will be our fifth lesson on bearings okay or bearing um, I wanted to use this video to show you more examples and the way um, some of the questions um, can be given out okay so hopefully today we will look at um, this video in the bearing series and then we'll go on to do something else and maybe uh, we'll come back and look at more examples or on we'll, we'll do a few this thing uh, lesson on it okay now what have we seen so far before i start um today's lesson as usual thank you to everyone who has been um helping watch our videos i really really appreciate it a lot thank you very much please if you haven't subscribed already or you are not following us can you please um, share like follow etc whatever you can do to help uh, we will i would appreciate it a lot and then also um it will help somebody else okay because um there are people who maybe might have english and science but don't have math okay so they can't even get an apprenticeship or they can't even uh, go further but maybe they want to so if they can even get a little push or a little help then it means that um they can try and get that C and then go on and do something in college which can maybe um, change the course of their life okay so please don't keep it to yourself the motivation behind this channel was that to just help people because um people see mass as this taboo um, subject that immediately you say mass they switch off okay but if you, they can be shown um, how to answer questions how to look at questions how to answer questions and even how to do the questions to even get the marks that they want then you have really really helped someone okay so i appreciate your help on that and then saying that please if it's the account is not yours ask for permission thank you very much on that i really write and um, follow my notes slash scripts okay one because it's good habits um, to follow the notes and then to see how i solve the questions and if there is a mistake i will correct it on the notes so you can see it okay don't watch it in abstract listening and not watching okay watch it with the notes if you have to do the example, watch it, write out the example, listen to how it is solved, and then put the video away, practice the example, try and solve it yourself. If you can't, go back and watch the parts that you can't, or watch the whole video go back and solve it okay. and then it will help you most of the things you need 
to solve a question. You already know. For instance, we are doing bearing and we already know um, angles. We've done angles. We know supplementary angles, angles at a point. We know all these things already. And if you don't know, the videos are there. You just have to look through the videos and it's been titled so you can see and most of them have examples anyway so you can use that to solve the question or learn how to solve the question and get at least a minimum of c okay that's c grade you need in maths you can easily achieve it now beware of scammers please okay i'm not asking for donations for charity or for amputees or for anything okay i haven't if i haven't said it in the video it's not me so if somebody um find their way into your inbox and they keep on uh, or send you emails and pretending like it's, it's not from me, please. It's not for me. Th thank you very much. Recap. We did more bearing examples, okay? So I've been trying to show you uh, how they can change the wording and twist um, the wording, but it's still bearing, okay? They can give you the question for you to draw they can give it to you to scale or not to scale okay so when when you are going to the exams be just mindful okay they you have to leave your answer in three figures so if it is 30 degrees you write zero three zero degrees okay these are things uh, you have to know, okay? But at times, the question might come in disguise. You might not know that this is a bearing question. And then you got 30 degrees and you're happy because the, actually the answer is 30 degrees, okay? But because you didn't leave it in three figures, you might be marked down or you might lose one mark and that one mark might be a different a difference between a c and a d okay so this is why i'm here to just help you okay now given the diagram and angle we apply knowledge of supplementary or angle at the point which is 360 so the things we applied to solve the equations are things we already know okay if you are given a scale diagram you use a protractor ruler to calculate the actual distance and you can also measure the bearing from the diagram okay if it is to scale always remember your unit for instance if it is 30 degrees write it in three figures zero three zero and remember your degrees okay if they say one centimeter is 10 kilometers and you've measured three centimeters that if they say one centimeter is 10 kilometers and you've measured three centimeters that will be 30 kilometers don't write 30 and go off write 30 kilometers okay uh i'll start her now okay example on bearing so i'll start her today's an example on bearing okay because i want to fin a uh, round out the topic today so i thought i'll throw in a question on starter and then we'll do another question and then um, we'll round up um and then maybe we'll come back later 
okay and look at some questions on it um now the scale here is one centimeter to 45 kilometers now this is the diagram all the ones i've circled are the ones i found I, I I found out okay it was a diagram this line I extended it to use the protractor you remember one of the videos I didn't measure right so the line was somewhere here okay so I extended it okay I measured R to T and I measured um s to t okay they didn't ask me the distance from r to s otherwise i would have measured that okay now let's look at the question what is the actual distance okay from r to t so r here to t okay so i use my ruler this ruler here okay um this is the ruler here and that is the zero mark okay in the s and you will not be videoing at the same time talking so it should be easy and quick so if you zoom in it's about here sorry S to T okay so if you zoom in it's about 6.5 um, R to T, T sorry this one it's about 6.5 centimeters okay so 6.5 centimeters but you are being told um one centimeter is 45 meters so if you multiply um 6.5 centimeters by 45 you should get 292.5 meters okay on the calculator what is the actual distance from t to s again using your ruler there that is zero and that is four there so i wrote four centimeters so here again one centimeter is 45 meters so we multiply four okay by um 45 and then we get 180 meters remember your units it is one centimeter to 45 meters so after measuring okay you need to put in your units okay i wasn't given this i wasn't given that i measured from r to t and from t to s okay and then I use the scale to find the actual distance there. Okay. Now measure the bearing of T from S. 
So the pairing of T from S, this is S, okay? You can see if you turn, you've passed the first quadrant. So it will be there. It, again, it says measure. So I'm going to use um, my protractor to measure. But here, because the diagram ended here, I extended the line. So to be a bit accurate, because in the last few days, we realized that at times when I'm measuring, um, so I you are allowed to extend the line is your paper you are allowed to so if you put that correctly and it doesn't move okay and you zoom in from zero all the way down to the extended line here yeah. It's about between 140 and 150. So I wrote um, one forty five. Okay. So the pairing of T okay, this is the question. The pairing of T from S, okay? So from S, we move north clockwise, 145 down four centimeters, okay? Clockwise, 145, travel down um, four centimeters on the diagram, and we get to T. Measure the bearing of T from R. So T from R here. Yeah. Okay. This is 0, 3, 5 when I measured. Um, let's try and see if we we'll get 0, 3, 5. So here there this is 0 35 and 40 to so 0 35 so here we are measuring so the bearing of t from r so that is t and that is r so from r i move clockwise from the north 0 35 degrees and then travel 6.5 centimeters to the north. Remember, these are parallel lines, okay? So that will be our starter for today, is get small bearing to um, help us. Now, consider the position of three cities cities r t and s okay so this is r s and t these are three cities maybe in in a country um what and then the scale is one centimeter to 10 kilometers okay what is the distance in kilometers so this here they are not saying actual distance but in kilometers so actually they are saying that find the real distance okay so what is the distance in kilometers from r to s so we'll come to the diagram again and we'll find out this is r this is s okay so here again you've been given a diagram you have to use your ruler and your protractor when i measured let's see
when I miss it, um, when I miss it, what I I did was I used my real life game, and I miss it, and I got um, five point two. Okay, so that five point two. If I use the scale one centimeter to ten kilometers, then the scale one centimeter here to ten kilometers, then I have fifty two kilometers from R to S. Okay, now remember your units. What is the distance in kilometers from R to T? So if they are asking you to find the distance in kilometers, what they are actually telling you is use your ruler to measure because they've given you the scale and then convert. Now, measuring accurately is 4.7 centimeters. So that will be 47 kilometers. What is the distance from S to T? So this is S, this is T. Again, I've circled the distance here, okay? When I use the ruler, let's, let's try that and see. So that is S. And that is 3. So I got um, 3.2. Okay. So it's not quite, but if you put it on the line, it's 3.2 centimeters. So now that'll be 32 kilometers. What is the bearing of S from T? So again, they said what? Okay, so you can measure or you can calculate. Okay, because they didn't say measure. So you can measure or calculate. I, if I don't have enough information to do the calculation, then I'll measure. But if I can measure one and deduce the answer from the other, then I don't have to be measuring all the time, okay? Um, so, what did I do here? So, this is S and this is 2. So, I need the bearing of S from T. So, I need this angle here, okay? So what I did was I measured this angle, which was 146 degrees, is in the second quadrant. So this looks reasonable. And then I use C angles to find this angle here. Okay. Now, because I know this angle, I can subtract from M. 360. This is 0, 034 degrees. So if I subtract 360 from 34 degrees, I have 326 degrees. Okay, so um, my bearing of S from T, this is the north parallel line, travel all the way around 360 travel up 3.2 centimeters and then I'm at S. That is why it's 3 to 6 yeah, degrees. What is the bearing of T from S? Okay, so the bearing of T from S 
I already measured that 146 degrees by extending this line. Okay, so when I measure it, so that's 143 degrees. Okay, that one here. What is the bearing of S from R? So I have to look for S and I have to look for R. Okay, so from R, I need to travel there and then straight to R. When I measure this, it's in the first quadrant. So that'll be 0, 2, 2 degrees. So from R, the north, clockwise, move on there. Okay, so I measured this one. That's why I got 0, 2, 2 degrees. I've written here, measured. What is the bearing of R from S? So now I'm looking for R and S. From S, I need to travel all the way here and then find my bearing. Okay. Now look at the diagram carefully. If this is 0 to 2 degrees measurements, okay, then using C angles, that will be 158. So I know this, okay. Now this is 158, okay. I've done some work here, okay. I know this angle here is, um, this, um, so I know this is 146, but I need to find this angle, okay. This angle and this angle it should add up to 180. So I know this is 158 from measuring that. Or I can measure that. I can just also measure, okay? But I want to use the calculation part to find this small part. So this is 146 because this will be 146. And I measured it earlier by extending this line. My angle at the point is 360. So I know this using this knowledge. I've measured this. So I take this angle and this angle from 360. Okay. So if I take this angle from 360, then I know this whole angle here, okay? And that will be my bearing um, of R from S. So from S, I move 146, and then another 56, and then I get to R, okay? So that was why I got 202 here. And then what is the bearing of S from R? So this is S from R, which is easy. Measure it. Okay, and you can see it's in the first quadrant. So 0 to 2 degrees. All the way up, you go to S. You can extend the line a little bit. It's your paper. Okay, so now... um. I could have done more, but it was getting a bit cluttered. Okay, look at it. Okay. So as you are going through the notes, you follow, uh, watching the video, you follow the notes. And then you realize that, oh, this is it. So you draw it out yourself. And then you start writing the answers. You might have similar questions. Okay, but all I've used so far is the knowledge of angle and the basic knowledge of bearing to do this question. Okay, and by doing that, you get your full marks. Now, let's look at uh, our last um, question here. We'll consider the position of three frames. So, three frames or 
family members or pen pals are in different parts of the world. And we've been told one centimeter is 5,000, 1,500 kilometers. So how far apart is S from R? So now, I was just giving this and a few extended lines, okay? So S from R, if you measure accurately, is 3.3 centimeters. So if you multiply 3.3, by 1,500 is 4,950 kilometers. How far apart is R from T? Again, these are bearing questions, okay? But they've changed the wording, okay? How far apart is R from T? So in the diagram, that is R, that is T. If you measure with your ruler, it's 3.2 centimeters. This is 3.3 and that is 2.2. So they are not isosceles um, triangle. So if you measure correctly, this uh, is a 3.2. You multiply by 1,500 kilometers, and then it's 4,800 kilometers. Remember your unit. How far apart is S from T? So on the diagram again, that is S, that is 2. If you measure correctly, you are going to get 2.5 centimeters. Again, 2.5 centimeters times 1,500 kilometers, you get 3,750 kilometers. Okay. Um, now, the fourth part, the other questions, which is the very part, question four. What is the bearing of T from S? So now we come to the diagram again. We look for T, okay, and we look for S. So we need to travel this distance. We were not given, we can measure or we can calculate, but because it says what if, but I measured, okay, so from here to there s if you measure i extended the line one to seven degrees if you measure correctly so the bearing of t that one from s is i turn this way 127 degrees and then travel down 2.5 centimeters and I get to T. Okay, so that is why here my bearing from S to T is 127 um, degrees. Again, in three figures in degrees, don't forget the unit. My bearing from S, um, the first one is T from S. Okay. The second one is S from T. So S from T here, okay. So my bearing of S from T. So from T, I need to travel all the way around, okay. Now, if this is 127 degrees, using supplementary angle, I'll take this from 180 and this will be 53. Now, if I take 53 from 360 all the way around to this line, that'll be 307. So my bearing, so I need to travel 307 degrees, travel up to um, S. So that's why my bearing of S from T is 307, okay. Now, what is my bearing of S from R? 
So I'm going to look from R and S. Now this is R. Okay. So from R, um, I can measure. So I measured. Okay. And I got 15 degrees. So 0, 015 degrees. 10 travel up to uh, uh, 3.3 centimeters and then I get to S. So that's why I got 015 here. What is the bearing of R from S? Okay, so now I'm looking for the bearing of R, this R from S. Now, if this is 15, and I take it from 180, that will be 165, yeah. If I take 165, okay, from 360, then I'll travel all the way around from S here, and then travel down to um, travel down to um, R. And that will be my bearing. Okay. That will be my bearing. So my bearing from um, R. From S. So this is the parallel line. So it will be 127. Plus 195. Okay. So if you do the math properly. 127 plus um, 195. Okay, you can do this mentally. That will give you 2, 2, 3 degrees. Okay, so that will be 2, 2, 3 degrees, that one bearing of R from S okay now here I've written because of time find the bearing of T from R okay note you can use a protractor to measure by extending the lines and then find the bearing of R from T remember in this question, you've just been given a diagram and they didn't say, they said how far apart you've done that, what is. So you can find one angle, use what you know to find the other angle or you can just keep on measuring and write the answer down, whichever is easier for you because you are not restricted here. It's not saying measure. It says what is. Okay. So whether you, uh, and it's a scale diagram. So whether you use the protractor or you use, uh, you measure one angle and use your knowledge of supplementary angle to give the answer to the under, other. Both of them, you are right. Okay. So, um if you can go and draw this um because i was going to answer the other last two and i realized that my diagram is becoming cluttered okay but so far we've done five videos on bearings and we've done a lot of videos on angles so with that knowledge you should be able to answer any bearing question. Okay. So go and have a look. Draw the diagram out. If you can draw it, guess um, look at the some of the past videos which have some of these questions. Watch the video and use that knowledge to answer your question. Okay. Thank you very much for um, watching today's video, okay, and I'll see you in the next.